Champions here, you already know. I'm saying. <sighs> this is like the most anticipated vlog of the year. <laughs> Everybody's been waiting to hear from your boy Old Five Dynasty. <sighs> you know, I gave it a lot of thought, man, this past month. A lot of thought, like. How was, how was I gonna come back with my vlog, you know? Like, how was I gonna like, talk to the people? <laughs> and, um, I came to the conclusion that I'm just gonna chill. <laughs> I don't need to talk, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to go out my way, just run my mouth for no reason. I'm not that type of person anyway. Y'all know what happened. <laughs> you know, Dynasty is it's about his business. And it's about to be on and popping. Album dropping July 4th, 2022. Titled Pop Shells at him. Featuring the infamous smash hit this record, All Facts. Pop Shells Adam, the single. Pop Shells Adam, the remix. Featuring Words from a True Legend, my twin brother. Also featuring Ghetto Styles. Orangutan Apes. <laughs> Planet of the Apes and my niggas go orangutan. Niggas choke his shit, banana clips, you know those hammers bang. Amy Z, Fugazi, niggas, strong J, boomerang. And we born legit, yeah, swag like Pootie Tang. Say my name, Dynasty. Lyrical biology, mythology, philosophy. All these haters doxing me, they watching me, the prophecy. All hell, Dynasty. Hate until you crash, implode atomically. Uber or the lift, New York City gonna ride for me. 
Call me Jack Boy, yeah, nigga, it's a robbery. And I'm on a dirt bike, and I'm eating Mike and Ike's, pushing that white, white. Fiends say it's a Klondike. Bars when I'm on a mic, fight like a Maya Mike. Shoot up pinky toes off like Eddie and all the nights. Snakes on a plane, yeah, nigga, that's every flight. New York, New York, we play Squid Game every night. You know what I'm saying? Rangatang apes. Then I got a record for my mother. Uh, my twin brother did a record for her on his album, The Next Level. It's called Mother's Day. So I'm going to do one called Mother's Day 2.0. Did I have a song for my kids saying, Daddy loves you? You know what I'm saying? And um, that song's going to be pretty dope. And um, I got a record with El Chops or El Chapo. How you want to say it, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Chapo, put him on the chopping block, you know what I'm saying? Um, he produced a record for me. Crazy. That's called Just Music. Um, then I got Ghetto Styles produced another record for me and Ghetto Styles, uh, me and um, El Chapo on the, on the album. That's going to be crazy. I got Ja, you know what I'm saying? Ja Beats. He producing a record on the album. It's going to be crazy. And, um, you know, those um, those three gentlemen, they actually were the only three people who reached out to me and, uh, and when I was going through that whole, you know, beef, whatever you want to call it, ain't really beef, just internet drama bullshit. Um, they reached out to me um, on that day or a couple of days, whatever. Yo, Pagny CI, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't even reach out to me and say, yo, what's good? Actually, nobody. <laughs> it's funny, it was three headed. Of course, my twin brother gonna hit me up, but I'm saying, I kinda expect that, you know? But, um, yeah, nobody. Like, it's like, yo, no text messages to the phone, no emails, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody got their own stuff they going through. Everybody go through things every other day, uh, you know what I'm saying, every other week, every other month, and throughout the years, you know? But, um, you know, when people are going through stuff, or when I'm going through stuff, I still reach out, touch people, you know what I'm saying? Yo, what's good? I heard this, sorry, you know, that you're going through that something. I always do that, no matter what. And it seemed like, when it came, when it came for me, it's like people they ain't, they ain't care. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of people, they ain't reach out to me, man. They ain't say, what up? You know I'm saying, you all right? You know, dudes, or you know, dudes or whatever, you know what I mean? They trying to attack your character, assassinate your character, trying to play you, disrespect you, you know? Nothing, you know what I mean? Just literally nothing, man. <laughs> That's crazy, you know? Then, all right, whatever. So I dropped, I dropped the record, all facts. It's this record, you know what I'm saying? Coming back, clapping back, basically ate in that fool, you know what I'm saying? Him and his whole team, and um, still nothing. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? People were supposed to be like, my road dogs, ride or die, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, support. No comment in the comment section, no shares, no likes, no nothing. It's like, what? It's like, all right. <laughs> no doubt. So I just took it like, you know, maybe people don't want to get involved. They don't get involved. But then, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the streets though, man. New York, man, right in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I lived in East New York, Brownsville, Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Hard. Rough, rugged, raw. You know? And like, when you say you're friends with somebody or you, you're cool with them, and then they get into something and you, you don't help. <laughs> it's, like, it's like what DMX said, fuck me nigga, then fuck you too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like huh? And you, you, you then you see them like still talking to the enemy? Uh, can't rock, can't rock with that, man. I can't rock with somebody who, you know what I'm saying, call me a friend, see I'm in beef or 
in that drama with somebody that's like, they really trying to assassinate my character and they still talk to them, still rock with them. Nah, I can't do that, man. I can't do that. Like that's, that goes against all codes right there. I ain't breaking my code to the street. I'm not doing that. You know, I, I've had people tell me, even on the internet, like, yo, why well, I mess with that person? I'm like, you know, so I'm thinking to myself, well, all right. Now to stop messing with the people because I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be sitting there talking to this individual and then next you know, um, the person I'm supposed to be rocking and cool with or people I'm rocking with and I'm cool with, they see that, they get a little, you know what I'm saying, sideways towards me. I'm like, you know what? It ain't worth it. Honestly, I just let those people be. You know, but when it came, when it came or when it comes to dynasty, people were like, yo, Fuck that nigga. So <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> fuck you too. Like I ain't fucking with y'all. So uh, y'all don't have to contact me no more. <laughs> I'm not. I'm literally. I'm not answering nothing. Cause I don't trust. I don't trust none of y'all. <laughs> I mean, I'll be dead ass honest, man. Dead honest. I mean, like I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be buddy buddy, friendship with nobody. You know. You know a lot of people take your kindness for your weakness or what happens is a lot of people they haven't been in the streets they haven't seen a rough the rogue they haven't seen dead bodies like i have stepping over them shits trying to get into my goddamn doorway in brooklyn you know what i mean they haven't seen that they haven't bust off the the, the burning you know what i mean like you have a website somebody said with a goddamn baseball bat trying to take their skull off the top of the top of the dome you know what i mean they haven't done shit like a stab or got stabbed you know what i'm saying like uh, yeah. <laughs> they don't know about like the, the it's real out there. It's not just pieces and cream all the time. It's not. It's rough. It's rugged. It's raw. It's not. So when I see people playing this funny stuff on the internet, I fall back because I'm not used to that. That's not me. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't play like that's 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 the reason why this whole thing started in the first place. Because in my last vlog. I specifically stated like I ain't fucking with them niggas because they on some like st 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 stupid shit. Like I mean, like coming to my page, commenting, no, they don't like me, talking shit behind my back. You see, I blocked all the motherfuckers, and they still had snakes in the grass on my channel, looking at my videos. Like, if you, you, these niggas don't like me. You know what I'm saying? But they so desperate to like see what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? On my dick, cloud chasing. You know what I mean? Like. Go do you. Like, why you even watch my videos? Don't have your girl on my channel subscribe to me, watching me. I ain't stupid. Or have not little kids that and your family members just make accounts and subscribe to me to watch my channel. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> they be on some shit like that. They be all making thousands of accounts and shit like that. Following is talking shit like little girls, you know what I'm saying, behind people back. That was weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dead ass on the job, weird. So, I'm former guy, fuck on John YouTube cast, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need John anyway. It's not like I'm I'm on here, like, yo, like, asking y'all for shit. I'm on here, I basically I'm just on here supporting. You know what I mean? And then I, I block some cats, set it in my live. I mean, set it in my, um, my vlog. Didn't say no names. You know what I'm saying? On a channel that doesn't even like, not even popping like that. Like, nobody even, nobody would even see that one comment, that that one comment that we was conversing in. You know what I'm saying? Going back and forth, or like a little back and forth, whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying? When I said like, fuck, I ain't fuck with them over that little ass, you know what I'm saying? Back and forth conversation. Again. That's why I was like, you know what? I had enough. I'm just dead in this shit. I ain't fucking. <laughs> I don't want them niggas around me. Just go about your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, you should be able to allow, you should be able to express yourself without having repercussions like the ones that I had. Like, I had to literally see some shit, like seven minutes of a dude trying to disrespect my whole character. <laughs> and then have to defend myself on the internet. Cause you ain't gonna play my manhood like that. It's not gonna happen, bro. From any of y'all. I don't care if it's that group or anybody else. Any of y'all groups, I don't care who you are. I'm not playing, son. I don't care. Cause I ain't scared. I just don't fear. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather not 
participate in that type of activity, just mind my business. That's what I'd rather do, just mind my business, you know? And um, that's what I'm gonna do now. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be out here like, putting comments on people's videos no more. Done. So you ain't gonna see me in the comment section. Cause y'all, y'all weird about that. <laughs> and um, I'm not answering no emails. Don't email me. The only people I'm gonna answer emails from are professional companies. They want to talk business, we can talk business. That's it. Um, I'm not answering you on Instagram. I'm not answering you on TikTok, Snapchat, Thriller, or any new social media platform that comes out. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm just going about my business because I'm an artist. And I'm going to worry about that. Working on me as an artist, putting out my music. I'm not going to be a part of like... This, the quote unquote community or y'all community the way y'all bond or whatever y'all doing all this comment section life for life stuff so all that stuff I'm not I'm not gonna participate in that I'm not, I don't I don't want y'all to see my face or my icon in the comments I don't want, I don't want y'all to be like or try to critique my comment all that little girly stuff y'all be doing like reading my comment and going back and like this is what he said and all this <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about me <laughs> so the only thing I will do is I will share something that I like. And um, you know, and I'll just probably copy and paste the title of that video in that share, or maybe the the channel owner's name. Something like that. But if I like something, I'll share it to promote it. But other than that, you won't see me commenting. So if you comment on my video, don't expect for me to comment back. I'm just not participating in that anymore. Because it's just weird, man. Like, for people who, who they were saying, like, yo, Daddy see this, Daddy see that, like, it was, they were cool with me, friends with me. You know, people who would, like, even be saying God all the time, and they like, supposed to be holy and church and all this other stuff, and they were throwing shots at me. I was like, whoa. I mean, people that I literally, like, said, yo, that person's a good person. Telling other people, like, yo, this person's good. Go check their channel out. Support them, support them. Look at my community feed. Look how many uh, channels I share. Then go back to my community feed, or actually go back to your community feed and look at how many times you share me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go back and see. I, I can look at my analytics. I could pull up the community feed right now and it'll tell me how many times people share me. You know what I'm saying? Killer flow. Share me all the time. All the time. No questions asked. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, it's not like I, I get that type of support back anyway. You know, when people are real in this world, people can't take that because y'all are stuck in the system and stuck inside the matrix. You're stuck in the matrix, man. You're stuck in the system that whoever is the powers to be that I don't know wrote these laws and these rules and these codes and you have to do this at this time and this and that. Y'all are stuck in that. When somebody comes and they real and they're like woke and they're saying this and saying that, y'all like that. Y'all like that dude in the matrix. You remember the dude in the matrix? The first matrix that dude was like, yo, Put me back in. I went back in to make sure I don't out. I don't want. I don't want the same. <laughs> yeah, like that. You hear somebody saying the real stuff, and you be like, yeah, 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 yeah. But then as soon as you stop talking to that person, like somebody like me, you like, man, fuck that nigga, man. And then he don't know what he's talking about. Like this shit good over here. You know what I'm saying? You're stuck in that matrix, and so you got fear somebody like me, or like people that I roll with that's real and keep it 100 percent a buck. Make, it makes you uncomfortable, real uncomfortable, that I'm free with it. I can speak my mind. You know what I mean? There might be some things I'm going to say because I can't handle it. Can't take it, you know? Me, I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying, you see, if I say some shit about you and you say it, it, if I say some shit about somebody, to me, it's free game. You know what I'm saying? Like, they come back, they come back because I opened up my mouth and I said something. I have to be ready for the repercussions. You know what I mean? But, um, 
Y'all are some scary people, man. Weird people, man. So, I ain't seen. I don't. The main topic is, or the main thing I want to say, like, like my main conclusion for this is that I don't trust y'all. I don't trust y'all. I don't trust because y'all, y'all say one thing and do another. Everybody goes through stuff, man. Everybody's going through stuff. Everybody's going through stuff every single day, man. Everybody's going through things, you know. And it might and the severity might be a little bit different than other things, but it's still everybody's still going through things, man. You can't just say like this person thing is more important than this person's thing because you don't know how things affect certain people. You know what I mean, you know, it's like some kids could fall hurt themselves and somebody can fall in that same spot you know what I'm saying and they don't, they don't get hurt like they won't be like oh I hurt you know just get up and just bounce up and just go you know what I'm saying you can't you can't really judge a person's uh, like uh, threshold to certain things so you know what I mean um, but anyway I can't rest with y'all you know, I only mess with the people that show me the real support and um, have my back 100%. So thank you guys uh, and girls, and y'all know who y'all are. And everybody else that said they used to rock me, I mean, I know you I know you think you rock with a person, and you, you know, you think, but for me, like, you, if you say you rock with somebody, you rock with them. It's not like, you know, halfway rocking or like, oh, Tiny C did that? Oh, let me fall back for a little bit. Make sure that, let things die down before I even go back. Like, let me let me not say nothing because I don't want to mess, I don't want to mess up my friendship with this other person. That's fine. If you want to do that, that's fine. That's your life. I'm not going to tell you how to live. But for me, personally, I don't, I don't mess with people who do that both side thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't rock with that. I mean, if, I, I'm not, if I'm not messing with them, and I'm not messing with them, that's for life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never messing with those with those cats, you know what I mean? So, and that's all facts. And yeah, you already know I ain't with that side talk. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. I'm going I'm to let this whole YouTube crazy weird shit, I'm going to just let it be. Honestly. Uh, yeah, all right, we back, we back, we in the building. So with all that being said, um, <laughs> don't take me, or don't take what I'm saying to the heart, like don't take it wrong, you know what I mean? It's, what I've come to learn is that it's just business and you shouldn't mix business with pleasure. And um, I, I overstep my boundaries to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not even mad at people. I don't hate people, no nothing. I'm cool right now, I'm chilling, you know what I mean? But I got too close to a lot of people and I should have kept YouTube bastards business. Now, don't get me wrong, um, I, learned, I learned a lot from a lot of people, had a lot of good times with a lot of people, it was fun. Um, you know, just building, creating, being creative and stuff like that. But then at the end of the day, when situations pop up, you see how people act and react, it teaches you and shows you a lot of stuff. So I can only go off of people's behavior and how they act and what they do and the timing, the time frame of what they do it in. You know what I mean? Like just different it's just the way it plays out. And by me going off of that, it pulled me to the decision to just fall back and not mix business with pleasure. Just treat YouTube and all these other platforms as a business, because that's what it is. It's a business. And um, if you look at most of the famous artists in the world, they don't talk to you. So you could go on there and comment. You could leave like 30, 40, 50 comments on their YouTube channel on one of their videos, and they won't say one thing to you. And um, you could try to contact YouTube staff members or like, you know what I mean? You could try to contact any of these companies and you, you could barely even find their contact information on the websites because they don't want to talk to you because they're not mixing business with pleasure. 
if they have to, have to, have to help you with something that might be detriment to their company, like bad publicity or something like that, so they want to fix the problem really quick, then they'll talk to you. But other than that, they ain't talking to you. And these, these rappers or these singers or these models, whoever that's famous, they don't talk to you. They don't talk to you at all. And they don't need to talk to you. And on top of that, you still go back and still watch their content. So there's no reason for Dynasty to play this game with you guys and girls, because I told y'all, I don't see myself as just a regular person like that. I see myself as an artist, because I am an artist. You know what I mean? You know, I did everything myself, set myself up as an artist. So I operate as my own record label. So I don't need to talk to people like that. I don't need to like, and I don't need to play the game of like for like sub sub conf I say it a lot, right? Because that's what y'all do. Well, I don't want to say that people watching this video do, but you know what I'm saying? I'm hypothetically speaking, that's what's done. And um Yeah. So don't take me wrong in this in this uh, video. Most of y'all will, because you know, a lot of people just have hate in their blood, or oh, you talking to me, or oh, he don't know what he's talking about. This is the way. This is how you market and promote. This is how you stay on top. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody got their own excuses, their own reasons to, to not like the next person. But um, I'm just telling you this because even, even if I don't do the things that I used to do on YouTube, it's not going to make me any less successful. I just, I just need to put in the work and grind and that's it. And I get to where I want to be at. But to be honest with you, I'm not even chasing anything. So that's that's <laughs> that's what a lot of people don't know or don't realize is that I'm not even chasing anything. I'm just having fun learning how to create. Like every single day, I'm like I'm in like ghetto styles as inbox like yo, how you do this? Would you do that? It was like we talking like oh that was crazy. You know what I mean, oh yeah, EQ compression, you know. Uh, parallel compression, uh, uh, busting to effects tracks, and talking about like, some graphics related stuff. I'm talking to y'all about cinematic, cinematic music and hand Zimmer and like, you know, uh, how to put, like, how to do like orchestra stuff on like the MPC or like, I'm talking to El Chapo and he, you know, he's crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we talking about rhyming like cadences and like different ways to flow and like, you know, perfect like you know just you know artistry and um staying real staying humble and like you know and um and they're bringing that raw talent to these streets you know or the internet streets or youtube streets whatever you want to call it but um you know that's it man you know so now, now what i'm trying to tell you is don't get me <laughs> I will still, I will still, uh, I'll still be here. Like I'll see your stuff, you know. If I, I, I watch your videos, if I, I like it, you know what I mean. I like it. I'll share it. And um, and to be honest with you, some of the people that you know I feel back from, I I still watch their stuff too. I, and I'll still hit the thumbs up button too, cause I, that's who I am. I'm the type of person who who support people. My whole company, my whole website, old 5 dynastycom that's, that's what it's built on, like supporting people and promoting their content. So, um, and I'm almost done with that website too. I just had a little bump in the road, but that website is about to launch. And uh, when I launch the website, I'm gonna send it off with some you know, advertisement and you know, people come back and you know, they register to the site. Even on my own website, when people could contact me directly, I'm not gonna be talking to people. So, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna have uh, support tickets and things of that nature. People will, staff members will help them, but I'm just done talking with people on the headset. So don't take this like, oh, he's talking about me. He just gonna like, it, it, let me tell you something. It was just a bunch of things that happened in them that like last month that I saw from a lot of people and I just put it all together. Like, you know what? Yeah. And it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot, dude. So there's a few things I need to do in like just in life in general. Um, when it comes to music, and I'm gonna be focused on that. I gotta finish this album. Once I finish the album, then I'm gonna be on the um, marketing and promotional tip, trying to get uh, the songs on the radio. 
satellite radio, things of that nature. We have to shoot some music videos. So it's a lot that has to take place. So my main focus is the album. Finish the album, song by song, knock it out. And that's what I'm doing right now. So music is coming. I'm not worried about no beef. Um, that thing is like, what I've done, but I'm still promoting my songs. We'll be on the album. Um, I'm also preparing for other people coming at me. So even though I'm working on my album, so I'm working on my album right here. Then I have some more joints right here, ready for people to attack me. <laughs> I, I, gotta, I gotta be on my P's and Q's now, man. Like for real, for real, because you know, just just for me, just uh, do a vlog and then come like two days later, see like just that coming at me. And I'm taking care of my kids, you know what I'm saying? So to be blindsided like that, you know what I mean? I'm taking care of my children and I gotta deal with some shit like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm all game for it. I wasn't playing, son. I was not playing. And um, I'm still not playing. So I'm ready. When people come at me, I'm ready. Now, I mean, I'm practicing my rhymes every single day. I'm trying to be a lyrical assassin, you know, you know, developing my own style, my own flow. I'm not trying to be like anybody else. Just trying to be like Dynasty. That's it. And, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, dude. Like, you know, the things that things people have to do in, in, in their lives, you know, or people, what people have to deal with. It's, um, it, it makes you be, it makes you think like, oh, this, I, 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 now I know why certain people stay to themselves and not like, you know, get social media accounts and don't have friends and they just stay away from all the drama and all the BS because somehow, some way, it always winds up just showing up, man. <laughs> all right, man. All right. Crazy, dude. crazy but um so i'm not gonna like close out my comment section i'll leave it open so people can still comment and i'll, and I'll read it i'll read it and if it's if there's something like somebody that really like um about serious about some business and stuff like that then uh email me email me with your professional email and we'll talk business so and that's it it's just gonna be strictly business moving moving forward and um, yeah, and it has to be like that. It has to be like that. Cause I'm different from a lot of people. I'm not, we're not the same. We're not the same. I think differently, I move differently. You know what I mean? And, um, and I understand things differently. And I don't play that back and forth shit. I don't play that um, jumping, you know, playing both sides like that. I wanna just show you something really quick. I didn't even open it yet. So, ready for that, that pop show video, music video. So, I got the face mask because when I'm out there uh, shooting a video, I can't have people breathing on me and stuff because I got um, I got three kids at the house, you know what I mean? So, you might not be able to see that, but that's that pop show's face mask. That's funny. That's going to be crazy, you know? That's gonna be fire. Well, I gotta fix the thing over right here. Yeah. Pop shells, Adam. Y'all in for a treat with that, though. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all in for a treat with that. That pop shells joint? Yeah, that joint's <laughs> The remix is just bananas. I can't even, I'm not even gonna tell you about that joint. Let's, <laughs> uh, let's, uh, uh, uh yeah, so I'm gonna be out there shooting my video. I got it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can probably see a little bit. Yeah, pops, pop shells that rap you, gang, gang. Yeah, so got this joint. And then I got the jacket too. Oh, don't forget, 
beat the block up, you know what I'm saying? Ghetto Styles, go and um, get his merchandise. I got the jacket. Yeah, we got the jacket, baby. Oh, I down. Hold on. You got the jacket. Can y'all see that? Pop shells. Can you see Pop shells, Adam. You see? Yeah, you can see that. That pop shells. And we got the shirts, too. So, um, I'm actually about to switch my store. I think I might go with Teespring. So, Y'all not gonna, y'all not even gonna be able to get this jacket. This jacket is literally one of a kind, man. So I think what I might do is I might wear this jacket one time for the video, put it like package it back up, and have it as a, um, you know, a collectible. So maybe, maybe, uh, maybe we'll sell it, or maybe we'll like. I don't know. We'll do something with the jacket. I wear it one time, so you know it was born by the artist. Maybe I'll sign it with my signature and uh, maybe we'll do something with this jacket for, um, you know, people who still support. Because I'm telling you, man, I'm not stopping. So you're going to hear me on the radio. Mark my words. I'm not playing. You know, there's a lot of artists who came in, came in history and they said those same things. And what happened? Famous, big time. A lot of people doubted them. Don't doubt me because I'm not playing. I'll be 60 years old and I'll still be 20. I'll be 80 years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People have shit, shit to say like, oh, he's 40 years old talking about pop shells out. You damn right, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'll be 60 tomorrow, pop shells out. I'll be 80, nigga. I'll be like the 80 year old grandpops who say, yo, you better get off my property, son, before I put the slug in your ass and they come off that big ass shotgun. You know what I'm saying? So no matter what age you are, Nigga be popping off. Look at John McCain. Pres uh, nigga was going for president. Nigga had the shot. He blowing niggas away. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, man. And don't be trying to, you know what I mean, push your ideals on me and be trying to force me to, like, live your way and shit like that. I mean, just because whatever thought you have in your head about somebody doesn't mean that they have to live your way of life the way you think. Fuck out of here. Let people live free. If you don't like them, don't fuck with them. Why you on my dick? Why you on my channel? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then if you wasn't here, you wouldn't be hearing my shit. Or oh, you probably hearing my shit cause my shit belong with that nigga. All over the place. It's your boy Old Fight Dynasty. And I ain't with that side talk. Pop shells at him. Rep your King King. The champ is here. Oh, facts.